Psst, Cory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, er, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, Shelly, I want to get your reaction. Cory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. <laughs> get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of a dog would I be? Hang on, hang on. I can figure this out. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you, you be? I would be... a Mummeranian. Ah. Pomer okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, hmm, you could be a famous Mummeranian. <laughs> Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. My heart! My heart! Oh dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Yeah, that's right, Dwight. Look at me. Now cry. Tape two! Okay, Dwai. Are you ready? Your creepy face. Okay, so here's the thing. I was looking for an image on Google um, for an acceptable blarg face that Dwai makes. Okay, but then, but then, me being me, I just get distracted by Nigel Thornberry gifts, and it's just, it's just a great place to be. Like, why would I ever leave? So I never actually figured out what to do. So dear, dear, have a bunny or something. Ah! <laughs> oh wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> so I assume that was she was his name, Azriel. I assume that was Azriel. Howdy, do I smile for the camera? This time I got you. I left the cap on. On purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um. Anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Okay. Uh, tape four. I... I don't like this idea, Dwai. Uh... Dwai, what are you doing? What? N no, I'm, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I, I never doubt you, Dwai. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll we'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. What's happening? What's happening? Tape five. Yo, the ominous ambient sounds in the background, though. Also, who is this? Dwight, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Boy, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Oh. Psst, Dwight, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We, we just have to get six. Uh, we'll do it together, right? What? <laughs> What? Hi everyone, my name is Sibo and welcome back to Undertale. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Ascors watched them. 
I don't think you should. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. You seem to be alf- alfabe- alphabet- alphabet- alf- They seem to be put in alphabetical order. Save for a few straight sticky ones? St sticky ones? Last time sticky ones happened, that's like creepy monster kind of appeared, yeah? Also, because of the magic powers of jump cuts, you don't know this, but in fact, this is a completely different recording session. I haven't played this game for approximately two weeks, so this should be fun. <laughs> There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you could read. Okay, okay. So these scrawls on the ground um, tell you where each of these keys are. That makes sense. Click. The yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. Uh, how many keys do I have again? Can't even check. <laughs> That's okay. Let's just let's just keep moving. Entry number nineteen. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Uh, I you saw that right? That oh, yep. There it goes again. That refrigerator. Is sentient. Entry number 20. Ask where I left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Th thanks, Asgore. <laughs> You're the best! It's a refrigerator. It's empty. But why is it shaking? It's, but why is it shaking? Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Well, you did grow up in the garbage dump, so... It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's refrigerator, it's empty. Ah! <laughs> okay, that legitimately scared me. It's so... cold. It's... it's so... so... Is that... is that... Is that you, Snowdrake? Is that you? How, how, how you doing? Uh, how how are you doing? Seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. Oh. Okay. Okay. I I will laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. <laughs> Tears run down your face. <laughs> what? You didn't do that? Oh. What? S -s Snowy, what? Hey, hey! It's playing the freaking Snowden song, <laughs> very slowly and very in a very distorted manner. That's it's great. It's just let me give you a joke. You told a bad pun about snow. No way I would do that! Her expression starts to shift. Ha <laughs> ha! I- Oh, this is the mother. Is it the mother? It's the mother, right? It's the mother, right? You're the mother. Smells like salty slush. You told a bad pun about snow. S Snow's not the time! That, that, was, that was completely forced and I used snow again, but... Anyway, her expression changes more. Haha! <laughs> uh, thank you. Hey, it's so cold. Uh, alright. You told a bad pun about snow. Don't you snowflake apart now? She's completely calmed down. You won! Don't go away! I said don't flake apart! Did you not hear me?! You found a blue key on the ground. You put it on your keychain. So what the heck? Why was this refrigerator Why was this refrigerator moving? Empty me. Empty my butt. Just stop shaking! Curtain. Okay. This is the green key, right? Yes. Cold. Okay, I think this is the last one. I'm, I'm still processing as to what those tapes said. And what it implies. What did you do, do I? Alright, here we go. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Alphys, are you here? 
It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Oh, no. Nope! Nope, nope, nope! I had to deal with you before. Bad memory head dudes. Hey! Stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Okay, Alfish. Thank you for the food. Sorry about that. No, no worries. Just, just your everyday thing. They kind of got get, get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. They're little kittens. I think they smell the potato chips you had, and you mean the popato popato chips. A a anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. Dr. Alphas, you have some explaining to do. But, but, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As, as I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I, I was just worried I would be too f afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or, or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yep. As, as you probably know, Ascor asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. Hang on. If I turn on the power, that means the determination extraction machine thing has turned on. Yes? I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monstrous bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. So you brought me here to... Their bodies started to melt and lost what phys physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of their subjects had melted together into... Those. Seeing them like this, I, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone ask, was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I've done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now? Now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. But you can do it, I believe. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. And my throat made a really weird sound there, but that's okay. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Okay. Cool. Oh. Hello. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told. I haven't told. <laughs> I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. A flower. A flower. It's a flower. <laughs> The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. I appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. What have you done? Entry number 18. The flower is gone. That text went by really slowly. It's a voice you have never heard before. Hey, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you have done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Do I see you soon? Okay. I. Mm, 
<laughs> oh, taking me straight here, are you? Uh, okay, well, thanks. I guess. It's over, isn't it? The outro, that is. It's over, isn't it?